um so what do you do exactly like you know mm-hmm. what's your work how do you see the see your work can um help mm-hmm. uh, the planet to heal a better mm. like you know if you look into the divine feminine mm-hmm. mm, um feminine is very much important mm-hmm. if you see the world it's all creation mm-hmm. so from where it is coming from the womb of uh, divine mother mm-hmm. you see mm-hmm. and uh, your work is helping people to be in the feminine and the presence mm-hmm. and uh, i read uh, most of the things in your instagram mm-hmm. the touch how the touch can help Yes. uh you know people uh-huh. could uh, release their tension mm-hmm. how do you see what you do exactly like you mm-hmm. know yeah i think you already named a couple of things in uh-huh. that i want to help um especially women mm-hmm. to get in touch with their feminine energy mm-hmm. um and with their feminine sexual energy also mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because i feel that in the world and i see in the world that mm-hmm. um our feminine sexual energy is actually quite repressed mm mm-hmm. um and i feel that the world needs it and it's repressed because there's a lot of trauma on it or we have a lot of conditions on it on sexual energy mm-hmm. um that sexual energy um is a like bad or we should not have desires mm-hmm. or that um from sexual energy bad things will happen so if mm-hmm. i if i'm in touch with my sexual energy then maybe i will attract all sorts of energies which are um uh, which are going to um, hurt me for mm-hmm. example mm-hmm. so i feel a lot of women around me are actually very afraid of mm-hmm. their sexual energy and men actually also mm-hmm. um so yeah i think and um thank you mm-hmm. so uh, i i actually help men and women mm-hmm. um with getting in touch again with their sexual energy and coming into right relationship with it mm-hmm. so because when we don't have a relationship to our sexual energy so mm-hmm. we don't know it we're not conscious of the energy and the energy is in us anyway because mm-hmm. it's the energy mm-hmm. that runs the whole show that engines the the fuels the engine mm-hmm. it's mm-hmm. it's our fuel it's it's, it's our life force energy sexual mm-hmm. energy is not just for having intercourse with somebody but it's mm-hmm. also it's 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 our energy for where 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 our life comes from where we are creating from mm-hmm. where we are um uh, <laughs> where we are living from throughout mm-hmm. the day mm-hmm. and so it's anyway it's there mm-hmm. the more we suppress it mm-hmm. um and we we pretend that it's not there you know we mm-hmm. don't have desires we don't have this part of us it's not existing mm-hmm. then it's like a ball that we press underneath the water mm-hmm. and when you press a ball underneath the water mm-hmm. whenever you're just but you cannot press it forever at one point it's going to you're going to lose the control and yeah. it's going to hold up <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's sadly like you know um uh, i I heard an interview. I was listening to one interview of the Bill Gates. He was the founder of Microsoft. Mm-hmm. So um, somebody has asking him what you've been uh, doing uh, your young ages mm-hmm. like you know I was saving my sexual energy for my old ages <laughs> like for, for the what? <laughs> I was saving all my sex for my old ages. Oh really? <laughs> <laughs> It's so sad. I mean, it's right? so sad. <laughs> it's so sad. I mean, we're missing out. It's such a beautiful energy to work with. Mm-hmm. And I think we got scared of it a little bit throughout the um, throughout the years, throughout our lives, we got scared of this energy mm-hmm. because it is so much energy. Mm-hmm. And when we are not mm-hmm. And when we are not um in a relationship towards it when we're not conscious of this energy and when we don't accept that this energy is there and from mm-hmm. them from from the exception mm-hmm. we can also work with it work with this with this energy throughout the chakras work with this energy to create mm-hmm. to feel our body mm-hmm. to be in touch with this earthly body that we have and with mm-hmm. earthly experience and if we don't have that in our life then this energy at one point mm-hmm. it's going to take us over because this energy is there so mm-hmm. it's going to take us over and when it takes us over because we are not in contact with it so when we are in touch with someone or when we have a little bit of a spark 
mm. and the sexual energy gets awakened mm. and we are then it just takes us over because we don't have a relationship towards it we are not conscious of the energy mm -hmm. so it takes us over and we're doing all sorts of things that maybe are not in line with our heart and with our head and we think oh no why did we do it and we blame the sexual energy and we mm -hmm. have because we we get experience where we that we maybe regret mm -hmm. or that we um and then we blame this energy for it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um or we have an experience with somebody else mm -hmm. in which the other person yeah. is taken over by their sexual energy and they're doing something that we don't like and we actually don't want and mm -hmm. we're getting in a trauma response and we don't know how to and things happen that we don't um maybe don't no that maybe mm -hmm. are not aligned with our heart and with our head and um and when these things happen we we, we blame the sexual energy mm -hmm. So what I do is helping women and men to mm. get in touch again with this part of their cells, with mm. their sexual energy, to slowly, for women, for example, to get in touch again with their yoni, doing yoni practices, doing um, mm. massages in their body, doing connecting to their feminine, feminine energy through dance and through their voice and through their sensuality also to touch mm -hmm, mm -hmm. really to have a self-exploration which is very intimate with self mm -hmm. but to slowly in a safe way to get in touch again with this sexual energy and to see it as something that is innocent and sacred mm -hmm. and a beautiful energy that we can work with mm -hmm. um, and yeah and when they have um, explore this energy more with themselves then mm -hmm. they can also explore it with another person mm -hmm. and um, yeah and beautiful things can happen also in the interaction between the male sexuality and the female sexuality and mm -hmm. also female female male male but there's such a beautiful exchange that can happen in these in the dance between mm -hmm. these two different poles of energy mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, because female sexual energy and male sexual energy is different is mm -hmm. opposite mm -hmm. the, the, <coughs> the male sexual energy is penetrative mm -hmm. and the female sexual energy is uh, receiving receptive mm -hmm. you can also see it like the yoni is receiving and the lingam is penetrating and it's mm -hmm. it's an opposite energy mm -hmm. and the more we are in touch with this with the qualities of the opposite sexual energy mm -hmm. so the, the female with her feminine sexual energy and the male with the male sexual energy and we embody the qualities of this opposite sexual energy in the dance beautiful things can happen there and beautiful mm -hmm. um uh, also whole whole experiences like mm -hmm. when we are in source we are whole there mm -hmm. and when we um and in this earth, I think we're all of the time searching again for this mm -hmm. feeling of home, for this feeling of wholeness, because we are separated. Mm -hmm. And in sexuality, when we can fully um, embody and come together from our sexual poles, mm -hmm. we create this wholeness again together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so, yeah, and from there also we can use the sexual energy to go through our chakras and to go through our third eye and to heal our body because it's just life force energy. Mm -hmm. It's where babies come from. It's where the plants grow from. Mm -hmm. It's where all nature is thriving upon. So it's also a healing energy. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, but first it's about getting in touch with this energy and that's where I help men and women with. Mm -hmm. with how to get in touch again with mm -hmm. this energy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What were the techniques you use uh, in particularly for men and women? Because mm -hmm. as we can see, the energies of the men is different from the energies of the women. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, in India we call it as Shiva and Shakti. Mm -hmm. uh, Shiva is more related to the consciousness of mm -hmm. the being mm -hmm. and the Shakti self is more, more of related to uh, creative potential because uh, she is the divine mother as we already spoken, like, you know. Mm -hmm. mm. So, how do you approach this particular energy? Like, you know, mm -hmm. how do you see? Some time maybe a uh, women also can uh, show the energies which is related to masculine energy mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like each being mm -hmm. is uh, different from one another like yeah. you know yeah. um, sometime uh, men will be showing feminine qualities mm -hmm. 
So how do you approach these two steps? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, beautiful what you say about that men can also embody feminine qualities mm -hmm. and of the feminine energy and women can also embody the masculine energy qualities. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I also feel that we have both energies within mm -hmm. us and mm -hmm. we can play with them also in ourselves mm -hmm. and also in our outer world. We can play with these energies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and I say what I, um, where I help women and men with is mm -hmm. how to, um, is there's how to embody more of the men for the, men, the masculine energy and for the women the feminine energy. Mm -hmm. And I do not say that that is the only thing that they should learn. Mm -hmm. Because I also feel that there's mm -hmm. for women, mm -hmm. if they can learn mm -hmm. to be more and they cultivate more of their masculine energy, mm -hmm. the spectrum is bigger. So they can choose in the moment, do I want to go into my feminine energy mm -hmm. or do I want to go into my masculine energy? Mm -hmm. And they have the choice because the spectrum is wider mm -hmm. and they can choose between and they can dance between these energies within themselves. Mm -hmm. When I work, for example, mm -hmm. I'm in my masculine energy. Mm -hmm. I, I have a plan, I have a structure, I have a mm -hmm. direction and yeah, focus. Yeah, masculine energy is intellect actually. Hmm? Intellect. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, they plan and they execute mm -hmm. and, you know, uh -huh. see, the world is most of run, run by men, actually. Yes. So that's why there is a lot of war is happening. Mm -hmm. If Indeed, if it is women, women is mm -hmm. matriarchal system was existing mm -hmm. in, the, in their world, it would be more loving and caring, you know. So I don't, I, I don't, I want to be careful with that. Mm -hmm. Also with saying that masculine energy creates war, mm -hmm. I think the shadow part of masculine energy can create war. Okay. At the same time, I think mm -hmm. that, and I feel that masculine energy has a very beautiful leading, mm -hmm. leading quality. Mm -hmm. So masculine energy is, has a very, um, if, if, if the masculine energy is healthy, mm -hmm. it can provide, it can protect, mm -hmm. it can mm -hmm. uh, build, it can create beautiful structures also mm -hmm. in the world. Mm -hmm. I think what we see right now with the wars is the shadow mm -hmm. of, the yeah. of the masculine energy. Mm -hmm. The masculine is not uh, yet connected with uh, their uh, real self, that's what you're saying. Yeah, not, not fully with their healthy expression. Okay, okay. Now, and same also for women. Mm -hmm. For example, if the women would lead from their shadow feminine energy, mm -hmm. there would be a lot of um, women can feel a lot. Uh, the, the shadow of the feminine energy is like the manipulative, for mm -hmm. example, the mm -hmm. manipulative, uh, manipulating with sexual energy or falling into victimhood. Mm -hmm. So not being in their own power center, but just falling into, oh, I'm a victim towards my uh, mm -hmm. circumstances. Mm -hmm. um, but to come back to your question mm -hmm. of, um, hey, what do you do? Mm -hmm. So what I do is in the spectrum that you can, that you can uh, cultivate within the masculine and feminine energy, mm -hmm. I teach women how to get in touch with their feminine energy and men how to get in touch with their masculine energy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, um, um, and how I do that, for example, with women, I work, um, I work actually in three different teams. Mm -hmm. I work with specifically the yoni. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I work with the sensuality mm -hmm. of women. Mm -hmm. And I work with polarity in relationship to the masculine. Mm -hmm. So I can explain those. Mm -hmm. What I do with women with the yoni mm -hmm. is a lot of women in these times have um, tension in their yoni. Mm -hmm. So um, when as a woman we are in the yoni being penetrated too early mm -hmm. uh, in our in sexual intercourse, mm -hmm. what happens is that the yoni uh, was not ready yet. So mm -hmm. her soft and open tissue mm -hmm. um, was not ready. And what actually happens is that she tenses up to like brace herself. Mm -hmm. What we do when there's when when we are in a threat, for mm -hmm. example, what mm -hmm. we do is we tense up. We, mm -hmm. We're ready to fight, and that's mm -hmm. actually what the yoni does as well. When she is open and soft, but she's not yet ready to be penetrated, and she's mm -hmm. penetrated too early, mm -hmm. she actually braces herself mm -hmm. and she tenses up. Mm -hmm. And what happens is that these tensions in the yoni mm -hmm. can stay there for mm -hmm. a really long time. Mm -hmm. And um, if we and sometimes women get them 
they feel that they're starting to get more numb, so mm -hmm. they cannot feel so much anymore in their yoni, mm -hmm. um, and they feel they they don't feel so connected anymore to their feminine energy, to yeah. their pleasure, to yeah. their um, to their sensuality. And what I help women with is doing practices in the yoni. So, for mm -hmm. example, we have a wand, a glass wand. Mm -hmm. that we insert in the yoni with a lot of care and a lot of love mm -hmm. so we can massage the yoni from the inside so mm -hmm. we can actually massage those places in the mm -hmm. yoni that are tense that maybe are seven years old already from an experience from seven years ago mm -hmm. which we were mm -hmm. penetrated too early mm -hmm. but it's still there mm -hmm. the the reaction towards that the the sort of trauma. trauma yeah mm -hmm. it's still there and we mm -hmm. can massage it out and most of the a lot of time women then also feel like sadness is coming up mm -hmm. um, they have tears all of a sudden and they don't know why and this is just a release from the yoni mm -hmm. um, from all this old energy and mm -hmm. the emotion is a way for the body to uh, get the energy and emotion mm -hmm. to release these old traumas that are there so that's one part that I do and also yoni gazing so mm -hmm. looking at the yoni with the mirror mm -hmm. getting in touch with her Mm -hmm. really seeing her for 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 also a part of us and a mm -hmm. part of our body and a part of our femininity and coming into more and more of a relationship with her mm -hmm. um that is ours a relationship that is ours that it's our body and our yoni and mm -hmm. because we have all been caught in the world with mm -hmm. so much conditions about mm -hmm. for example pornography or we see these music videos and it's mm -hmm. all and we we almost learn there that mm -hmm. our body is not ours, that our body is there for male pleasure mm -hmm. and that it's not ours and that we, uh, and to get back into, hey, this is my body mm -hmm. and to get back into, this is my own sexual energy and it's innocent and it's mm -hmm. sacred and I can get a relationship towards it. That's where it really helps with doing the yoni practices, with yoni gazing, um, mm. But also breast massages. Mm -hmm. The breasts are for women, um, mm -hmm. uh, are the plus pull. So in Tantra also, mm -hmm. we see the, the yoni as the minus pole. Mm -hmm. So that is where the energy comes in from mm -hmm. the male. It comes there in. The male has a plus pole with his mm -hmm. lingam. So we have a min pole there and we have a plus pole here. So the plus goes out there. So we receive energy from the yoni. It mm -hmm. goes up and we give from the heart mm -hmm, back, mm -hmm. actually, the energy that the male gives, for example. Mm -hmm, but when we're just with ourselves, mm -hmm. our heart center is our plus pole. Mm -hmm. So if we activate the breasts, mm -hmm. the energy flows actually from the breasts. Mm -hmm. It flows towards the yoni and it can activate the yoni also. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. it can activate the sexual energy of the women. Mm -hmm. So what I with women also is connecting to the breasts doing mm -hmm. breast massages we and also really uh, so activating the pole there but also getting to know the body what mm -hmm. does my body like how does my body wants to be touched mm -hmm. how does it wants to be firm or, or or more soft and fast or slow mm -hmm. and uh, for more of a watery element or does my body like the passion and the fire mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's just getting to know our body and getting to know hey what does what makes my sexual energy turn on mm -hmm. and when it turns on oh how does it move through my body how does it what what are pleasure accelerators mm -hmm. what are pleasure uh, breaks so what breaks my pleasure, what accelerates my pleasure, and just getting to know that mm -hmm. and coming more and more into relationship with it. So when we are having intercourse, mm -hmm. we are not being overwhelmed by the energy, but we, we know this energy already. And we're mm -hmm. like, oh, hey, you're there. And we can play with it and mm -hmm. we can move it through our bodies. Mm -hmm. So that's one part. I really use the, the yoni and mm -hmm. I also use the sensuality. So. Mm -hmm throughout the day for women mm -hmm. when you're eating can mm -hmm. you be with the senses of eating mm -hmm. can you be with them um, with how the senses are coming into your mouth can you feel the structure can you feel the flavors can mm -hmm. you feel the uh, the moisture of mm -hmm. the food because when we are connected to our senses also for example in our mouth mm -hmm. we can also we can be more with the sensations that come up 
so we can also be more with the sensations of our sexual energy that come mm -hmm, up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I connect women to their sensuality more. So just with easy practices, when you when you start to dress in the morning, can you feel the fabric? going <coughs> against your skin when you put on your shirt can you mm. feel the fabric how it goes mm -hmm. around your skin or when you put on your socks can you be really conscious mm -hmm. of putting on your socks and mm -hmm. just feeling it in mm -hmm. your body mm -hmm. just so we can get a relationship towards to get conscious of all these senses all the mm -hmm. sensuality and then there's also the part within relationship towards the masculine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So what I see a lot in the world is that mm -hmm. a lot of women mm -hmm. are, when they're in relationship, mm -hmm. they are actually afraid of going into their feminine sexual energy mm -hmm. because it's so receptive and so open mm -hmm. and so soft. It's mm -hmm. also very vulnerable. Mm -hmm. So it's also very, we, the masculine energy is way more, uh, penetrative focus is way more strong mm -hmm. actually and mm -hmm. more hard you mm -hmm. can also see it in like the the, the how the lingam mm -hmm. when the sexual energy gets activated it's hard the mm -hmm. women mm -hmm. sexual energy is soft and opening mm -hmm. so for women it feels sometimes too vulnerable to mm -hmm. be in their feminine sexual energy so they have learned themselves mm -hmm. to be in their masculine sexual energy so in mm -hmm. a relationship some women mm -hmm. already especially in the Western world, mm -hmm. they already took over mm -hmm. the, the, the masculine sexual energy and they, mm -hmm. uh, in relationship, they, they want to make all the decisions mm -hmm. or they, um, they take over the leads or they always want to drive the car or mm -hmm. when they're sitting next to him in the car, they say, hey, babe, have you seen that car over there? And then, oh, we have to go left there. We have to go, we have to go left there. They, <laughs> they give him directions. They don't let him be in his masculine pool. <laughs> Because they're afraid, you know? <laughs> yeah. they recognize it. So, like, <laughs> so uh, I was uh, interviewing one woman. Mm -hmm. uh, she wrote uh, a book mm -hmm. which is about the autobiography of an orgasm. You know, mm -hmm. um, she's an American and uh, she traveled all across because she was faking the orgasm in entire her life you mm. know whenever she is with a, a man mm -hmm. um she's just faking it she oh, never yeah. got an orgasm mm. then uh, all of a sudden uh, she thought of going to uh, you know africa to get some orgasm <laughs> on wow. search of orgasm like you know that mm -hmm. is hilarious but still you know it's it gives a message you mm -hmm. know like you know what it is meant to be a real woman and what it is meant yes. to be saying yes to the body and mm -hmm. uh, she does some kind of uh, dance called koya and stuff like that you know um, um so how do you feel about it because most of the more of the women is actually faking it or uh, mm -hmm. they may not get it then their entire lifetime you know mm -hmm. whatever it may be like you know they are almost always saying no to their body and mm -hmm. uh, the pleasure centers and yeah. how do you feel about it like you know yeah what do you think about it like well i think it mm, perfectly Mm -hmm. illustrates mm -hmm. the distortedness mm -hmm. of the sexual energy <clears throat> mm -hmm. that we live in today mm -hmm. um, because actually mm -hmm. it's so interesting the, the, the we all know the, the, the male orgasm mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and the female mm -hmm. orgasm you mm -hmm. have actually um, you have According to the orgasms that I have, so I can mm -hmm. only feel into those. Mm -hmm. There are some traditions that say that there are many, many more. Mm -hmm. But towards my own experience, there are seven different types of orgasms that a woman can have within mm -hmm. the yoni. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, that can, and I say within the yoni, but there's also even orgasms that can be activated from, for example, the breasts mm -hmm. or from other <coughs> parts of the body. Mm -hmm. So it's um, it also illustrates for me that women faking the orgasm mm -hmm. that we know so little mm -hmm. about the yoni. We know so little about the feminine sexual energy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and it is it's with, with how we are conditioned in the mm -hmm. world. With, mm -hmm. for example, pornography. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. It's in the Western world. Mm -hmm. Pornography is watched more mm -hmm. per day than Netflix, Amazon, and Twitter combined. There's more viewers. I mean, uh, data says otherwise. The third world countries are watching pornography more than that. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know about the third world <laughs> Uh, like countries. India, um, yeah, yeah. India, um, even more than yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. India and uh, you know, uh, Pakistan and uh, yeah. Bangladesh, um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and Nepal, Africa. Yeah. All these places, mm -hmm. uh, they watches the pornography yeah. more. Um, they they are the consumers. If we see yeah. the pornographic world, like adult adult industry, like you know, mm -hmm. I had uh, some podcast with some people those who are in uh, uh, working in adult industry. Mm -hmm. um, so what I understood is that uh, the Western world is producing porn, and uh, mm -hmm. you know the third world the countries are uh, consuming the porn. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah. and uh, there is addiction, porn addiction. Yes. So, like you know. Yes. Uh, yes, 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 um, yes, yes, yes they get addicted to the porn and mm -hmm. uh, what happens in the most of the time the sexuality men is always looking for a climax where he never uh, think about what women want like you know so mm -hmm. this she is almost always neglected in uh, many aspects um, mm -hmm. so yeah and you know it also if they see porn mm -hmm. which also then in a way their mind is then poisoned mm -hmm. so and and the porn industry just makes money out of it mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. all they want they want to get you addicted they want to make the male addicted mm -hmm. um and then because they get money out mm -hmm. of them watching mm -hmm. and the the average wage that mm -hmm. a that a young person mm -hmm. sees pornography for the first time mm -hmm. was when I read this in your when I read this uh, research mm -hmm. it was already a couple of years ago mm -hmm. it was ten ten years old was the mm -hmm. first time they see it mm -hmm. so our mind already gets poisoned mm -hmm. with this mm -hmm. um, with this way of sexual energy mm -hmm. where in 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 pornography mm -hmm. there is no space for the feminine sexual energy mm -hmm. the feminine mm -hmm. sexual energy wants the heart connected mm -hmm. wants to take time for the yoni and for the deeper orgasms of the yoni to open mm -hmm. takes 45 minutes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in pornography it's within five minutes mm -hmm. and where is the space for the emotional emotional mm -hmm. uh, connection mm -hmm. or for the the slowness mm -hmm. the softness mm -hmm. the the healing capacities of mm -hmm. sexual energy mm -hmm. there is there is only the the, what I call the shadowy male sexual energy is mostly portrayed in mm -hmm. uh, in pornography. Mm -hmm. um, so the so also the male brain, like what you say, like when they are having intercourse, all they have been taught mm -hmm. is this pornography um, way of having mm -hmm. sex. Mm -hmm. So of course they're gonna neglect the women, and mm -hmm. they don't know how to be with their with her emotions, or they don't know how to be with her pleasure mm -hmm. because they never got it taught mm -hmm. and so i don't know if the, or if the men are mm -hmm. really to blame mm -hmm. or it's that it's the pornography industry that is to blame because they're making money mm -hmm. out of this they're making mm -hmm. money into making all these men addicted and you say in the third world countries they, they watch it the most mm -hmm. and that is also that those are the people that also are the poorest mm -hmm. you know so they are making use of that also mm -hmm. of like the people who are feeling um, already more in a survival mode state mm -hmm. um, and they are making the pornography is making use of mm -hmm. that of mm -hmm. that state and like getting them more into like oh this is something where I can distract you from mm -hmm. your daily problems and they mm -hmm. use that to make money mm -hmm. but they are they are infusing them with poison and mm -hmm. I think that they know what they are doing mm -hmm. because sexual energy is the most powerful energy that we have in the world mm -hmm. so to infuse that with poison mm -hmm. is i think it's 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 smart in mm -hmm. some way because mm -hmm. then they can control us when they um. can control our sexual energy mm -hmm. they control us because that's the biggest power that we have mm -hmm. um so i feel there's also some kind of an agenda there mm -hmm. in a way mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um yeah, see so, that uh, you know that uh, Christian churches and missionaries has been done it so long. Like you know, they they tell people to control. You have to be a celibate in order to be realize the God or whatever. Like you know, in mm -hmm. Christian uh, 
theology mm -hmm. so they they are uh, very successful in doing that from generations like you know uh they are controlling masses of people and they are controlling that is the single uh entity uh yeah. the the biggest entity in this entire world which is actually controlling largest amount of the world the uh christian missionaries like mm. vatican yeah. catholic church what i'm saying the yeah. vatican is the largest single entity which is controlling um the uh the highest amount of wealth you know mm -hmm. so this is this is a, a kind of true this agenda is a kind of true uh it is easy to uh you know uh, um it is very easy to make a generations to be as slaves mm -hmm. uh by making them as pivots you know mm -hmm. because they are in control and they are scared and yes. they are they are afraid yes. and they are shy and they are yes. not able to express or whatever so many things is happening and uh, it's, it's a kind of reversion which is happening in their mm -hmm. mind you know mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. so yeah that that in that way whatever you are saying is true yeah. uh and the coming back to the practices we have spoken about the uh female uh, mm -hmm. practices which you teaches mm -hmm. um and also there is a, a practice which i have uh, seen the uh, people can um, you know uh, egg you know the, there is a bowl eggs which mm -hmm. they can insert into the yoni of yeah. uh, uh, feminine and mm -hmm. uh, they can feel uh, you know relaxed and uh, mm -hmm. stuff like that is that something which is involved in your uh, practices as yes. well like yes yeah. yes yeah the the jade egg the yoni ha, egg ja yeah yoni egg. yeah I also mm -hmm. use and and that can we can use the yoni egg also to also to create a relationship towards our yoni to create a re relationship towards the the inner muscles also of the yoni mm -hmm. um and to strengthen also these muscles and to um uh, massage also from inside mm -hmm. so it has a different um um Yeah, it has a different quality than the the other tool that I use, which is more like the 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 wand. Mm -hmm. You can use in in inside as well to massage and to do mm -hmm. massage. Mm -hmm. And also the the yoni egg I also use for also mm -hmm. getting into a relationship with this energy to activate this energy and to um yeah, to to also internally massage with mm -hmm. the muscles and to mm -hmm. um, heal also mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's also something I use. Mm -hmm. And um another thing that I also use, so we talked about the the yoni mm -hmm. and then the sensuality, so mm -hmm. how to get in touch with the uh, with the feminine sexual energy through our senses. Mm -hmm. And then there's also uh, the polarity mm -hmm. and also mm -hmm. on this earth, also for a reason. Mm -hmm. And there is a duality mm -hmm. that is playing here mm -hmm. on this earth mm -hmm. with each other with the energies mm -hmm. and that is also for a reason that we have this duality mm -hmm. and i feel that my wish for the world mm -hmm. is that men and women mm -hmm. are seeing mm -hmm. that they are actually the same mm -hmm. that they are just two sides of the same coin so they mm -hmm. are opposite mm -hmm. but they are the same Mm -hmm. They're the same coin. They're mm -hmm. just two sides, mm -hmm. and that's what my wish is that we can see that we actually need each other. Mm -hmm. We need each other mm -hmm. to heal, to come into um, right relationship towards our own sexual energy, towards mm -hmm. the opposite sexual energy. And mm -hmm. there's such a beautiful opportunity there mm -hmm. to support each other also, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because, if, for example, in a relationship. Mm -hmm. If I uh, embody my healthy mm -hmm. feminine sexual energy, mm -hmm. that that energy can be so inviting mm -hmm. for the masculine, for mm -hmm. the healthy masculine energy to come through. Mm -hmm. um, when we operate, for example, from from shadow, mm -hmm. that invites shadow. Mm -hmm. So if I'm operating from my victim, from my manipulative feminine shadow. That mm -hmm. actually invites the masculine predator mm -hmm. um, taker, the taking energy, which is mm -hmm. which is his shadow. Mm -hmm. But if I embody my mm -hmm. healthy feminine sexual energy, mm -hmm. which is vulnerability, openness, softness, mm -hmm. um, in contact with my body and with my pleasure, with 
naturally invites mm -hmm. the benevolent protector, provider, the space holder, the, the wanting to uh, create structures for this energy, it naturally invites it because the energy of the feminine is very inviting. Mm -hmm. So I feel that we can, in this, we can help each other mm -hmm. against, we can go against the, the, the whole, the, the pornography industry and how they are trying to pollute our minds and pollute mm -hmm. our connections to our sexual energy. Mm -hmm. We can go against if we see each other for the divine the mm -hmm. divine mm -hmm. uh, beauty and the divine essence that we are mm -hmm. and that we can help each other with hey i am here i can embody my feminine sexual energy and with mm -hmm. that i can invite your benevolent beautiful healthy masculine energy mm -hmm. and the other way around mm -hmm. the masculine has for example a very strong quality to mm -hmm. pierce through the feminine mm -hmm. and if the feminine is in their shadow mm -hmm. and she is um operating from from manipulate manipulating with her sexual energy mm -hmm. the masculine is a very strong uh, because he's so insightful mm -hmm. he can see he can oversee um he can pierce through that shadow and pierce her back into her heart mm -hmm. and say i need you here mm -hmm. i need you in your heart i need you in your healthy sexual energy mm -hmm. because this is what the world is trying to teach us. The world is trying to keep us in our shadow, mm -hmm. in our shadowy aspects of the sexual energy. And I need you here in your healthy sexual energy. Mm -hmm. Because then we can create beautiful, we can create new universes, we can create with this energy together, we can create new paradigms, new worlds together, but we need to be in contact with our healthy sexual energy. Mm -hmm. So I feel also in the polarity between the men and the women, there's a beautiful opportunity there mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to help us, to help each other, mm -hmm. um, to come back into our original blueprint of sexual masculine energy and sexual feminine energy mm -hmm. so that's also where I work with um, mm -hmm. and I mostly help the women in mm -hmm. that part yeah. with, with um, how can they also um, help in their relationship how can they embody more and more of their feminine energy so they can invite the masculine healthy sexual energy Okay. So we have spoken about uh, healing the feminine mm -hmm. um, by using jadeks mm -hmm. and wands and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And also, um, how do you go about the masculine, mm -hmm. like, you know, in yeah. the scenario? Yeah, good question. What do you do about the uh, masculine? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, good question. Yeah. Well, I am, of course, not a man. Yeah. So I don't have... Um, the original blueprint of I, I can embody mm -hmm. masculine sexual energy mm -hmm. but my body does not have the original blueprint of the male sexual energy mm -hmm. so for me mm -hmm. it doesn't feel right mm -hmm. to teach men mm -hmm. about male sexual energy mm -hmm. what i do can do mm -hmm. is i can work in a session with mm -hmm. a man mm -hmm. and i can work with the polarity mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so what i do is i work with with my colleague we work together mm -hmm. and we have individual sessions with men mm -hmm. in which one of us mm -hmm. is embodying the healthy sexual energy of the women just all with clothes on and no there's no bodily fluids involved it's just energy mm -hmm. but in the moment that we embody the feminine sexual energy mm -hmm. and the man is in front of us with whom we have a session mm -hmm. everything will come to the surface mm -hmm. his shadows or how his body reacts to feminine sexual energy mm -hmm. um the way what, is, what are his patterns that he has? Mm -hmm. What are the ways? And, and then we can look at that. Mm -hmm. So there's one, when my colleague, for example, is guiding and I'm the embodiment of the feminine energy, mm -hmm. um, then we can see his guiding the practices in which we can look at how is, his, how is he responding towards the feminine energy mm -hmm. and um, where are there new movements to make Mm -hmm. so he can be stronger in his male sexual energy so the mm -hmm. male sexual energy is for example leadership mm -hmm. focus mm -hmm. direction um is uh, groundedness um is really connected mm -hmm. to the lingam also mm -hmm. so being with his consciousness also there mm -hmm. not being afraid of his power mm -hmm. really being 
um, in contact with this penetrative energy and feeling it as that it's gifting energy. Mm -hmm. So he's gifting from there. Mm -hmm. And it's not something to be afraid of, but really just can he own mm -hmm. that he that his energy is giving and is penetrating and he's holding the space and can he be in that power? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and we in in an in, in interaction with the feminine mm -hmm. we then look mm -hmm. uh, and we see in the practices that we do mm -hmm. um how is he responding and mm -hmm. how is he in his body with this with this energy with his masculine energy mm -hmm. and what can we do that he can in contact with the feminine mm -hmm. be more in contact with his with his sexual energy mm -hmm. um and through the interaction with the feminine mm -hmm. um, and um, because with that when mm -hmm. he is what, what, what we are teaching there mm -hmm. is just the basics actually of breath of being mm -hmm. in the body of being with the lingam of being with the with the energies within mm -hmm. so that when he is with a woman mm -hmm. when he is with the women in sexual intercourse mm -hmm. he already knows how to be with this energy he mm -hmm. knows um, when there's a lot of feminine um, mm -hmm. sexual energy coming up, for example, mm -hmm. um, what can he do so he doesn't fully get overwhelmed with it and he wants to go in it? Because mm -hmm. that's a shadow of the masculine sometimes. They want to take, they want to be already without being attuned to her. Mm -hmm. So in the sessions, we also teach attunement. So how can you see where she is at? Mm -hmm. How can you recognize, is she already opening and how mm -hmm. can you see that she is opening how is she breathing how is she moving how is mm -hmm. she um interacting with you when she is opening so mm -hmm. he learns in that case attunement towards mm -hmm. her mm -hmm. he also learns the leadership and the direction mm -hmm. and holding space so when they're having intercourse for mm -hmm. example when there's more sexual energy when he's with his partner mm -hmm. and there's sexual energy he can he is not losing himself in her mm -hmm. he's not um losing himself in his own sexual energy and it's taking over mm -hmm. but how can he be he already practiced then how mm -hmm. can he be with this energy mm -hmm. how can he recognize if she is open or not mm -hmm. and how can he then um gift from this energy his love and his and to to create a connection together to create this dance together mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um does that make any sense do you have any questions around that no, not exactly. Like, you know, I was just uh, trying to understand, like, you know, how do you go about the masculine self? Like, so if we look into the masculine, I'm a man, like, mm -hmm. you know, um, like, how do uh, the the way when I got sexually active uh, by the age of 12 or 13, mm -hmm. something like, you know, the first time uh, we see that, uh, yeah, something is happening in my mm -hmm. body, mm -hmm. uh, you know, which was not there before. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, then um, when I go and uh, study about the yogic techniques where mm -hmm. uh, the ejaculation is not exactly the climax which mm -hmm. we have to be looking for, mm -hmm. that we have to take uh, this, the way which we ejaculate uh, and uh, uh, you know there is a yogic posture which is called Mula Bandha mm -hmm. like you know mm -hmm. uh, it will uh, stop there and you know uh, mm -hmm. we can take that energy into higher order creativity mm -hmm. um, this is how I started to see this uh, mm -hmm. after some some time being sexually active mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I fall in relationship like you know two three times in my uh, life mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, it was so beautiful uh, because um, this is how I see. But uh, the problem with this is like, you know, how understandable your uh, partner, how understandable your partner is. Like, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. see, when uh, this, all this mysticism and tantric and stuff like that is mm -hmm. being involved in the relationship which we are looking for. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, relationship is not just about the sexual point, mm -hmm. but it is very important mm -hmm. also, you mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. um, with mm -hmm. related to other things in our life, mm -hmm. you know, you see. Mm -hmm. So uh, do you have something which you teach for uh, couples also? Do you like, do you have something for mm -hmm. that? Yeah, 
Um, I also hear what you say about yeah. the, um, uh, the, I call it the spiritual muscle, like the, the PC muscle in mm -hmm. our, we also have it in our yoni that mm -hmm. we can squeeze, release, and then we can help the energy to move up in our bodies. Mm -hmm. And for mm -hmm. the male, that's also there, mm -hmm. the PC muscle, which, which that we can use mm -hmm. to help the energy to move throughout our bodies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So for myself, I have not worked with couples yet. Mm -hmm. I have worked with uh, women separately mm -hmm. and, and teaching them about their sexual energy mm -hmm. and with males. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's about the, the relationship towards the feminine that they have and how mm -hmm. they can um, be more with their healthy sexual energy mm -hmm. when they're in contact with the feminine sexual mm -hmm. energy. Mm -hmm. And if I would work with couples, mm -hmm. I think I would actually work in um, in the same way, mm -hmm. in a way, mm -hmm. of that I would teach the women mm -hmm. about their sexual energy mm -hmm. and um, and then see in relationship how 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 they how the sexual energy moves between them mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and see what kind of shadows are coming up also in their interaction mm -hmm. so is mm -hmm. the feminine going in in her um uh, sexual uh, manipulative energy for mm -hmm. example mm -hmm. that she wants to control by using her sexual energy to still have to not fully surrender and mm -hmm. let him take the lead mm -hmm. but actually to control the situation and to control him with her with her uh, seduction and with mm -hmm. her sexual energy Mm -hmm. um, or with the male, is he losing himself in her? Does he wants to take and penetrate too early? I would mm -hmm. look in a session also with them, like where are the shadows here? Mm -hmm. Because we first need to look at the shadows before we can go into these deeper tantric practices. Mm -hmm. yeah? Because else it's just going to be uh, a trauma response upon trauma response. Mm -hmm. If we don't train our nervous system mm -hmm. to... Mm -hmm. um, be with the energy to know this energy already and mm -hmm. to know our own shadows also to have awareness of mm -hmm. where we might fall into shadow mm -hmm. if we don't have that consciousness mm -hmm. with the whole world that is that is infusing us with pornography with poison all of the time mm -hmm. if we don't have first a really solid um, awareness on our shadows mm -hmm. on, on, on our unconscious conditionings that we have mm -hmm. we cannot go into these deeper tantric practices which is mm -hmm. because we it will just be um we will not know what we are doing we will try to uh, be with this with the sexual energy but if we didn't mm -hmm. if we haven't learned how to be with that mm -hmm. these these practices are way too advanced and we mm -hmm. just have trauma responses together mm -hmm. and we exactly. think we are doing yeah. like really beautiful practices but we just have trauma responses mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so I would always look first at the shadows it's just number one for me what mm -hmm. are the shadows that are there mm -hmm. and when we have worked through the shadows we can go into more advanced tantric practices so we can mm -hmm. we can learn how to uh, with for example the PC muscle how to um, how to uh, let this energy circulate through the body, but also how to circulate it in in the connection between the two of us. Mm -hmm. How can we let this energy circulate there? How can we let the energy intertwine as two mm -hmm. snakes and go up, 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 and mm -hmm. go even to higher consciousness and go mm -hmm. back again into the body? Mm -hmm. And then, because then we can go into these practices. Mm -hmm. But first, always I mm -hmm. look at the shadows and the unconscious conditionings because of the world that we live in right now mm -hmm. we have to first look at the, at the shadows mm -hmm. but that's how I would work with a couple as well it would be a lot of shadow work <laughs> they would not like me probably at the beginning yeah. <laughs> because I would point out all their no 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 it's uh, something like you know when we talk about uh, the sexuality itself is something similar to like you know a taboo Mm -hmm. subject like yeah. when we look at the new and when we are talking the you are this part is not working well and you are this part is not working well the, mm -hmm. definitely they will get into yeah. <laughs> yeah. yes <laughs> it's like because it is such a taboo because it is mm -hmm. so suppressed because we have and it is suppressed mm -hmm. but at the same time there is a really strong addiction towards it like what you say about that the that in the third world countries, the, mm. the, the pornography is so many, has so many viewers. 
And mm. I also feel in the Western world, I also see it a lot, a lot of addiction towards pornography. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and that we see it already at such a young age, at the age mm -hmm. of 10 already, mm -hmm. where we, and for the rest, we don't have almost, almost non-sexual education mm -hmm. in the Western world, at the schools. Mm -hmm. What we have as education is we get a, a, a banana and then we have a condom and we have to put it around and then they say something about psoas and mm -hmm. babies and, and that is it. And it's mostly with a bio, bio, biology teacher who is mm -hmm. himself very suppressed sexual energy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's it all has this flair of like, this is taboo. You're not supposed to look into this. You're not supposed to, it's just, oh, it's just something with uh, with uh, condoms and babies and so on. And uh, it's, it's not so much. And mm -hmm. But they feel it. The kids can feel it. Like, mm -hmm. okay, there's something big here. They feel it all around, but nobody really talks about it. Mm -hmm. So the kids already learn at a young age to suppress it, mm -hmm. but they are curious about it because kids are naturally very curious. Mm -hmm. So what they do, mm -hmm. they look it up online. And right now, a kid of three already has an mm -hmm. iPad and uh, mm -hmm. there were some worlds and, 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 and sometimes even um, access mm -hmm. to internet. Mm -hmm. So kids can look it up themselves about this, this thing that nobody really talks about and mm -hmm. where everybody is very... Um, secretive about but is very big in the world of mm. course they're gonna look it up mm -hmm. so what is the sexual education that we have it is pornography that is the only sexual like almost the only sexual education the biggest sexual education that we have and it's poison mm -hmm. so also the people they cannot it's it's not their fault mm -hmm. that they have that actually even I'm even going this far, and maybe it's 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 gonna hit somebody um, mm -hmm. in the wrong uh, way, and it, it can happen. Um, but I'm gonna say it anyway. The, I feel even the the rapists mm -hmm. in the world, mm -hmm. and even they, mm -hmm. in a way, mm -hmm. they they are also victims. In a mm -hmm. way. Yeah, exactly. They because suppress the sexuality, they yes. they're figuring out a way to. They never got taught of anybody mm -hmm. how to be with this energy they never they only got taught through pornography which is poisoning mm -hmm. which is so they i have a really feeling that everybody always wants to, internally they always want always want to do good mm -hmm. but sometimes we are so poisoned and so conditioned mm -hmm. that we we just we have not been taught the right way mm -hmm. how to do it mm -hmm. so yeah i think also the work what i do Mm -hmm. is really a counterpart, is really um, a counter movement against mm -hmm. the pornography world. Mm -hmm. um, I want to make the sexual sexuality that we can talk about it again. Mm -hmm. We have a relationship towards our body, to our sexual energy, which is innocent, which is sacred, which mm -hmm. is beautiful and so powerful. Mm -hmm. If we can have a relationship towards that again, mm -hmm. that is, uh, for me, it's working against the pornography it's mm -hmm. working against the whole agenda mm -hmm. of this who wants who wants to keep it suppressed and who wants mm -hmm. to not talk about it so i want to talk about it get into a relationship again and also to see that we can as men and women mm -hmm. we can uh, serve each other mm -hmm. that we need each other and that mm -hmm. we can help each other in coming into more and more and deeper right relationship towards your sexual energy mm -hmm. so yeah, I think I, I um, that's the main thing about what I what I do in the world and my mission. Okay. <laughs> so what was happened in in your uh, training session? What was the uh, best thing which was happened during the the best thing mm -hmm. the best and the worst thing? Okay, in my in my whole training. Yeah. Well, in a way, I feel that mm -hmm. my whole life has been a training actually mm -hmm. already for this. Mm -hmm. And training doesn't always come from um, only having the best and the lightest experiences. Mm -hmm. Sometimes mm -hmm. what I feel was my deepest training mm -hmm. and my, my most serving, um, um, serving lessons mm -hmm. were actually the on paper the most horrifying mm -hmm. the the worst experiences actually those sometimes they taught me the most mm -hmm. about um about 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 the sexual energy mm -hmm. and they initiated me in mm -hmm. some way mm -hmm. um 
so yeah in my life i had um i've I've always had a strong relationship to my sexual energy and mm-hmm. throughout my life it was very much a, um, a ride mm-hmm. and a ride with ups and downs into getting to know this energy for myself already. Mm-hmm. So I've had experiences also in which I had I felt so much sexual energy and it completely took me over mm-hmm. and I did things that I didn't want to do and mm-hmm. things happened that I didn't want to or I got, a, I got victimized in some way. Mm-hmm. Like, because I didn't have the relationship towards my sexual energy, so I was operating from shadow also. Mm-hmm, I got mm-hmm. victimized in in sexual intercourses which weren't healthy mm-hmm, and which mm-hmm. weren't serving, which weren't healing, but actually those um, to have um, um, to have experienced mm-hmm. those also going into those underworlds, mm-hmm. going into those experiences that were really in the shadow realm in like the deeper darker Mm -hmm. um uh, underworld of the world of the sexual energy in the world and how it's been played out and from there on rise again Mm -hmm. um with all the knowledge of everything that is happening there and everything how it can play out Mm -hmm. i have gained so much knowledge about how do you Mm -hmm. how do you um get in right relationship again with your body and your sexual energy when you have been Mm -hmm. through those darker shadowy places Mm -hmm. um so when i have i have had traumatic experiences in Mm -hmm. the world of of sexual energy Mm -hmm. um and because i had that Mm -hmm. i i know how to go all the way from these traumatic darker places into the lighter uh, mm-hmm. realms and into a healthy and healing mm-hmm. relationship mm-hmm. towards my sexual energy. So, um, yeah, I can really see that throughout my life, it's all I've been perfectly uh, uh, the, 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 the clients you've been working with, okay, mm-hmm. you were giving the um, training section and uh, things like that. Um, what what is the best changes you mm-hmm. have observed in your client mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. Uh, what is the worst changes you have observed in, yeah. the, in mm-hmm. your clients mm-hmm. what was that like eh? do you feel like the um, yeah so i would feel always the best changes that i see is mm-hmm. for is for men and women mm-hmm. to step into their power again Mm -hmm. to feel empowered again Mm -hmm. because if we have a relationship to our sexual energy to our Mm -hmm. bodies Mm -hmm. we have so much power Mm -hmm. because it's so much energy Mm -hmm. and it's so much energy to that we can use to work up through our our chakras to create new uh life with um in the form of businesses in the form of of other creations Mm -hmm. in the form of and, and to really to, to for men to lead again to lead their life mm-hmm. into uh, into the direction that they want to mm-hmm. lead their relationship to mm-hmm. um, lead themselves mm-hmm. and um, to women again to be in contact with their soul in there with their body with their with their pleasure also with mm-hmm. their love with their hearts mm-hmm. um, it empowers us mm-hmm. with, with our life force energy mm-hmm. if we are in connection with it. It empowers us. So what I see is the, the most beautiful changes that I saw is for women, for example, mm-hmm. to if they have a connection with their with their life force energy, mm-hmm. what happens is they feel so much more free in their body. Mm-hmm. They feel free in their expression. Mm-hmm. They feel free in 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 their sensuality. Mm-hmm. They feel free in their receiving. Mm-hmm. Um, and I saw women who were before who were really um, so internal and so um, um, they 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 were or they were only in their masculine energy, for example. So they only knew how to. Okay, I'm gonna. They, they were every day they were in their masculine energy directing their life leading mm-hmm. their life but, and they they were creating beautiful things for themselves mm-hmm. but they were exhausted mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. exhausted because they didn't have a connection to their own life force energy anymore mm-hmm. they were only connected to the masculine sexual energy mm-hmm. so um 
when I saw as women who got in touch again with their life force energy, mm -hmm, who, mm -hmm. who felt like they did not only had to be the, mm -hmm. in their masculine energy, mm -hmm. they were not only safe when they were in their masculine sexual energy, but they mm -hmm. also found safety mm -hmm. in being with their feminine bodies, with their feminine surrender, with their feminine life force energy, mm -hmm. with the Shakti energy that mm -hmm. went through their bodies. Mm -hmm. So the freedom aspect, mm -hmm. that's from like the freedom to choose, to mm -hmm. um, the freedom to um, be with our senses mm -hmm. and to feel safe also mm -hmm. in that. The freedom to receive from a man, if a man wants to give us support, that mm -hmm. we can receive that. Mm -hmm. The freedom to express in, mm -hmm. in singing, in dancing, in creating, in in, in running the life force through our bodies mm -hmm. and feeling freedom in that um, and feeling empowerment in mm -hmm. that um, and for men I mm -hmm. saw the really the empowerment piece in mm -hmm. how they could um, because I, I I saw a lot of men who were in their uh, feminine mm -hmm. uh, energy actually mm -hmm. and who were who didn't dare to lead a woman who didn't dare to lead their life who mm -hmm. didn't who, who were a little bit afraid of their penetrative energy because before they might have hurt women with this energy mm -hmm. or they might have um yeah they, they saw that other people um mm -hmm. hurt it other people mm -hmm. with this male sexual energy and they got afraid of it they got afraid of the power that is there mm -hmm. and to see men or these men were um, so they they got really connected with their heart and with mm -hmm. their feminine set fit with with the feminine mm -hmm. energy they got really connected with their heart, so they got more vulnerable. They they, they got more in touch with their emotions, mm -hmm. with their with the interconnectedness of life. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, they lost their power center. So mm -hmm. they lost how to um, how to lead in mm -hmm. life, mm -hmm. how to direct in life, how mm -hmm. to focus, how to create structures, how to create, how to manifest in the world, mm -hmm. and to see men. Mm -hmm. who are already then connected to their hearts mm -hmm. to connect their hearts back to their lingam back mm -hmm. to their sexual energy back to focus direction manifesting mm -hmm. in the world that was beautiful to watch because i feel that is what the world needs at mm -hmm. this point the world needs men mm -hmm. and women mm -hmm. also men who are connected to their hearts mm -hmm. and their power and their life force mm -hmm. and their lingams. Mm -hmm. Both of that, because we see so much in the world, only men who are connected only to their sexual energy. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. who creates without the heart online. And you know, what mm -hmm. you said before, like when men lead, only wars will come. Mm -hmm. But when men are not in contact with their hearts, mm -hmm. the only wars will come. Mm -hmm. When they're only connected to this, uh, to this, this wanting to conquer and wanting to, to the shadow sides, mm -hmm. and they don't have their heart online, this will happen. But with men mm -hmm. who are connected to their heart, mm -hmm. to the unity consciousness, mm -hmm. to love, to mm -hmm. connection, and then to their power center, mm -hmm. they can create new paradigms. They can lead the world into new paradigms. Mm -hmm. And women also have a great part in that, into mm -hmm. initiating men mm -hmm. into the sexual energy. So I've seen beautiful things from men, men who can create beautiful mm -hmm. new um, businesses, who can mm -hmm. create um, beautiful um, yeah, new creations, new manifestos in the world, who can create, who can lead um, uh, groups mm -hmm. into and, and lead them into a different way of relating towards each other. And, but first they needed to be in touch with their power centers. Mm -hmm. um, so I think those are the most beautiful things that I've seen. Mm -hmm. um, just and any worst piece. experiences? <laughs> the worst experiences, well, um, because mm -hmm. I work a lot, like I talked before, with shadows. Mm -hmm. So I work a lot with the unconscious realm, with things that we are mm -hmm. not yet conscious of, but mm -hmm. that are playing out all of the time, mm -hmm. um, and which are mostly conditioned mm -hmm. by the world that we live in. So mm -hmm. the world that is built on pornography, no sexual mm -hmm. education, no talking about sex, all mm -hmm. the things. That's where the conditions come from, though they that's all in the shadow realm because I work with the shadow realm mm -hmm. I tend to show people mm -hmm. their shadows mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I tend to show people hey this is where have you looked at this part already hey mm -hmm. this is 
do you see that this is also within you? They, they gain consciousness of parts that are within themselves that they have suppressed, that they don't want to look at mm -hmm. because they may feel shame and guilt around that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I also teach how to let go of the shame and guilt because mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's not ours mm -hmm. also and it's keeping it suppressed. Mm -hmm. But when I point out shadows of people, mm -hmm. sometimes the ego mm -hmm. can get quite activated. Because mm -hmm. the ego does not want to look at these things. The mm -hmm. ego wants to keep it down mm -hmm. because else it maybe has to um, it has to admit to itself mm -hmm. that it has um, that it, it it did maybe things or it's operating from things that are not from that that it can maybe activate shame and guilt mm -hmm. or maybe can 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 make us feel sad about something that happened or mm -hmm. can so the ego wants to protect mm -hmm. and they don't so um so that's something that sometimes in my trainings i also bump into i bump into egos mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. um are afraid mm -hmm. um and don't always want to look at the shadows or mm -hmm. maybe go first before they want to look at go in a little bit of resistance mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um and yeah so those are the experience the i would say the worst experience that mm -hmm, i would have mm -hmm. had mm -hmm. if that somebody's ego mm -hmm. is too strong or maybe they're not it's not uh, their timing yet mm -hmm. um, to look at it. Mm -hmm. It's um, and then they go into a lot of resistance, mm -hmm. um, and yeah, that um, also makes me sometimes sad mm -hmm. to feel that because I wish for them mm -hmm. that they can, uh, because I, I feel how much more free and empowered they would be. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If they could work through the shadows, if they could work, if feel the pain mm -hmm. and feel the the feel the pain of the world and mm -hmm, just mm -hmm. be with that and work through it, mm -hmm. I know what is on the other side of the tunnel. Mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. just a beautiful connection towards towards this mm -hmm, life and mm -hmm, energy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so sometimes it makes me sad when people cannot go through it mm -hmm. because they're too afraid. Mm -hmm. um, and then also I can feel an acceptance in that, that there is a divine timing in, mm -hmm. every, in everything, and divine orchestration, and mm -hmm. that maybe it was not the right timing yet, um, right now. Um, yeah. So, so how do people can uh, contact you if they want uh, a session or uh, a learning from you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they can contact me on my Instagram, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, which is Marima J. Mm -hmm. um, M A R I M A dot mm -hmm. J A uh, Y. Mm -hmm. um, and they can just send me a message there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we can, uh, yeah, book a session. I work online with women, I do mm -hmm. online coaching for women. Mm -hmm. how to get in touch with this energy again and mm -hmm. whenever when somebody is listening who is working who is mm -hmm. living in the Netherlands mm -hmm. um, I give um, I will be back somewhere in this year end of the year to mm -hmm. give live sessions uh, mm -hmm. again in the Netherlands mm -hmm. um, and also groups of women I mm -hmm. will do women and men also in the Netherlands mm -hmm. and online I work with, uh, with women um, okay. Online so you coaching. can give it to anywhere across the world. In person, if somebody wants, uh, how could you do that? Like, yeah, so if somebody is in India right now, I'm right now in Tiru Banana Life, mm -hmm. and I will go to Rishikesh mm -hmm. soon. Mm -hmm. So if anybody is there, they can also contact me and mm -hmm. we can, for women, we can look into um, feminine, feminine mysticism mm -hmm. practices mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. and also feminine coaching mm -hmm. and if there are men who want a session they can also contact me and mm -hmm. we will go into how is their relationship towards the um, towards the feminine so what is coming up mm -hmm. in his relationship towards the feminine what shadows are coming up what new movements can we make into mm -hmm. relating towards the feminine from more depth and integrity mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And also couples, if mm -hmm. they want to come, we will also look at the shadows and if we work through the shadows, we can work into more advanced tantric practices. So mm -hmm. how to run the energy through the bodies and how to connect the energies through the mm -hmm. bodies with the couples together. Mm -hmm. can we can look into that. And that, so those things I can do, uh, I do also live in person. Mm -hmm. And that's mm -hmm. in India right now for whoever is there can also mm -hmm. contact me.
Thank yeah. you. Okay. Thank you for being on the Thank show. Thank you so much. <laughs>